Let's go, Kanji! <laughs> Folks, we're back with some more Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Now that the game is out on Steam and modern consoles, I've been having a lot of fun playing online, getting my sea legs back with one of my favorite grapplers of all time. You guys know I love some grapplers. I love T-Hawk, Clark from KOF, all that, but Kanji is really special. So today I want to talk a little bit about why I think Kanji is one of the most fun grapplers I've ever played. And uh, then you guys are just going to get bow, 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 rapid fire online ranked matches of me absolutely shredding people's health bars with Kanji. But real quick, guys, if you're enjoying the Persona 4 Arena content and you want to see more, it would really help me out if you could hit the like button. Leave a comment if there's a character that you want to see me try or just leave a comment if you want to point out the fact that I wore a green shirt today so you can see through me. Whatever you want to talk about down in the comments, I'm down. So be sure to do that. But let's talk about why is Kanji so special? Why is Kanji so cool for a grappler? So obviously he does have a lot of downsides. The major downside for Kanji being a grappler is that it's very hard for him to get in. If you look at like how slow his dash animation is to start moving compared to like a fast character, they just instantly start moving when they dash. So he's very, very slow. His range for his faster attacks is also pretty short. So it can be hard for him to counter poke the opponent around this mid range, but he has so many powerful things that make up for it. First off, obviously he's got an extremely damaging command grab and it leaves him right next to them in perfect position to apply Okizeme. And then the heavy version of his command grab is actually invincible. So similar to Clark and KOF, he can go through all kinds of stuff with this command grab. So that's pretty powerful, and so a lot of his game plan is going to be centered around landing this grab because it is so powerful. But of course, all grapplers usually have a strong command grab. That's why they're called grapplers. Uh, so what does Kanji have to sort of prevent the opponent from just trying to run away and get away from these command throws? So that's kind of where the character gets interesting, I think. Kanji has some very powerful traps that will try to catch the opponent if they're, for example, holding up back during a block string. He has a ton of ways of stopping this and getting huge damage out of this. He also has an anti-air command grab that's very powerful, very damaging. But the EX version of this move is really the money move because the persona is just going to wait there. He's going to wait and see when you jump. And as soon as you leave the ground, he's going to grab you. And of course, you can combo off that as well. So pretty sick stuff. So he can definitely stop you from jumping. But can he also stop you from pressing buttons for trying to mash out of his block strings? Yes, he's very, very good at doing that, too. Kanji's frame trap game and his counter hit game are also really, really powerful. So in this game, there's a mechanic called fatal counter where if the opponent gets counter hit by certain very hard hitting attacks, they get put into a special combo state where all of a sudden you're able to do way more crazy combos. And Kanji's meterless damage off fatal counters is unbelievable. This you want some move is a pretty interesting tick setup because uh, it's very fast, very fast recovery. So people usually don't expect to throw. But if they decide, OK, what if I just try to mash out of this setup? Uh, they're going to be in big trouble because they might get counter hit into some insane damage. So don't try mashing against Kanji. That doesn't work so well either. Another tool I'm a big fan of from Kanji is going to be his Jump C. So his Jump C is a pretty interesting little attack. You can see that Kanji really sort of floats himself backwards when he does this. And what this means is a lot of times this is going to stop some very problematic anti-airs. So a lot of characters, they have these big anti-airs that are going to, you know, just massacre you out of the skies. But Kanji's Jump C is actually very good at dealing with these. It's very hard to anti-air him out of his Jump C. And if you trade or if you get counter hit, you're going to take huge damage. So Kanji is just such a punishing character to fight. It sucks when he gets in on you. It just feels helpless. He's also got a great DP. He's also got full screen projectiles that let him close the gap. So really a lot of things going for Kanji once he gets in. Yes, it can be a struggle to get in on the zoners, but it feels so good once you do. So like I said, I got some amazing matches. I just banged out a ton of them. Unfortunately, ranked is best of one in this game. There's no two out of three. So I just played a boatload of best of ones, and I'm going to show those to you guys. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Seems like the the Ultimax characters are very, very popular. They're like exclusively who I'm fighting. 
which is cool. I'm glad to see people trying them, but I don't really know the matchups. Grab him. And now we'll set up lightning. Big brain strats. <laughs> Boys. My kanji though? PC still having online problems? I personally haven't had any, but it's possible others are. No, at the time for whining. Were you blocking, you fool? Trying to jump out, you fool. So this is big brain, right? <laughs> Kaji! Kaji! <laughs> He's cracked! <laughs> He's cracked! <laughs> Alright, check this out. Big brain. Psych. The mini game. Rhythm game. All right, I see you. I tried to jump out. It's happening again. Ooh, that one's hard. Ba -dum -ba -bum -bum. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Around with so much information. Let's go, Kanji! <laughs> Let's go, Kanji! Alright, Mr. Weedles, I see you. Grabber. Works every time. Set up lightning. Grabber. Okay, understood. Understood. I'm in love. DP. DP. Baited. Persona break? No! Bro. This is why this matchup's hard. Her persona is so good against mine. Also, this guy seems kind of cracked. I'm so upset, dude. Wake up super into super and it worked. Dude. It's so hard! I can't get in! Oh, 
Oh. Persona broken again. Can't burst if your persona broken. Yo. Yo. We got her. Feels good. All right, I have a plan. Nice ant here. All right, now the plan goes into motion. Oh, I got zapped instead. That doesn't work. Not a real combo. This is yikes. No, command throw. She's so cheap. Nice throw reset. Damn, that was crazy. First Narukami I fought, man. Isn't that crazy? This man's the pro tag, but he gets no love. What's up with that? Why is everyone hating on the swagger? And hey, look, he's got the Kai costume. DP. I wanted to see how big of a nut he was right at the start. <laughs> Not gimmicky enough? True. He's really strong though. This is like one of the scariest characters to me. Alright, somehow we got through that. Gold burst though? This man's got the infinite block strings. There's the DP. <laughs> okay, he's a bit of a nut. He's a bit of a nut. Kanji versus Beowulf, who wins? Well, Kanji has a persona, so... I feel like he wins. He do be jumping out. Nice. I'm baiting DP way too much. Let's go. Whoa! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I'm popping off. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Don't hold up. <laughs> nothing, nothing fills you with confidence like winning with Kanji, dude. It feels so good.